was in a uh, moped accident, broke his jaw in three places. And right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some arch bars off. So you can see these arch bars and the wires holding them in place. The wires are called circumdental wires. And he had all these teeth knocked out in this accident. And then it's been bone grafted. So this is kind of where we're at right now. Um, so I'm gonna give him some local anesthetic. He's already sedated and very sleepy. Um, so you're gonna feel a little pinch here, bud. Take a nice deep breath, good. So just a little local anesthetic in there, getting things super numb. And then we're gonna do some more numbing medicine back up over here. Get that numb. And then, some numbing medicine over here. I think that's a pretty good view of the wires. So we're gonna take them all off, but I think what I'll do for the sake of this video, I'll show you just one portion or one section after I get them numb. Okay, so with these wires, they go around the teeth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by just snipping these wires. Oh my. Wild cutters are getting a B minus. So I'm clipping the wires first. Yeah, these wild cutters. Do you want new ones? I do. So we're going to get some different wire cutters because the tip on these things um, is not functioning properly. Yeah, see how it doesn't really cut? There's I meant... Like, in oh, never mind. There's a little debris in there. Yeah. A little scuff mark. These are wore out, basically. They're not snipping. Get rid of them. The thing, I get cat along with it. <laughs> so you can see it didn't even snip those ones. There you go. That's how it's supposed to work. Where it just clips the wire. Clip the wire, clip the wire, clip the wire, and clip the wire. I think I was successful on that one. Now that the wires are clipped, we need to remove the wire. So, um, this is not the most elegant looking procedure, but we just pull and the wires come out. And that one, you can see the whole wire didn't come out, so I gotta grab one of the rest. And we just kinda keep going here. Sneak these bad boys out. Before you know it, the arch bar comes out. And that is how you remove the arch bar. Um, this will all heal and go back to normal, but the gums are definitely not happy about having metal through them for several weeks. Um, we'll get the bottom out and uh, take a post operative vertigo gap to make sure that there's no um, retained wires or foreign bodies. So I think you can get a feel for uh, occlusion, how teeth come together right here. And then over here, this is the edentulous area. You can see there's a lot of bone here. I use bone morphogenic protein um, to help regrow the bone in this area. Open nice and big for me again, bud. Okay, there's this one tooth that's needs some dental work. Go ahead and bite down for me. All right, excellent. The arch bars are now gone, um, but what we're looking at here is this wire. And this wire goes around the teeth. It's what we call a circumdental wire that was used when the jaw was broken down through here to bring that segment together and get his teeth approximated right. So it goes around the teeth. So let's get a wire twister. And we're gonna go ahead and just unspin this wire. Just kind of get it up and available. There we go, good. You kind of get a feel for where this thing is going now. I'm gonna to start to untwist it a little bit. And then I'll get a wire cutter. And then what we'll do is we'll snip this wire. Okay. And then we're just gonna kind of pull. And then there's the wire. Come off like that. And so now that's gonna all take a nice, you can hear the gums taking a nice deep breath. Ah, sigh of relief. So it'll heal up and do really well.